for most of my YouTube journey, it's been off my head. For stories in the last month, it's been purposeful. And I do it like that. So you mentioned Matthew Dix. For anyone who doesn't know, Matthew Dix is the author of a really good book called Storyworthy. And he has this practice called Homework for Life, which is actually really good. And you can write this down and start to do this as like part of your habit tracker. Home for, homework for Life should take you about five minutes. And it's where you just sit down with a document in front of you, like a table, and you just write a story of something that happened, either that you can remember from the past or something that happened today. Sounds simple. The, the reason why you do this is because it gets you to start seeing the stories in your everyday life. I read this in the book and I thought like, oh, that's a bit whatever, like, what am I going to write or anything? And on the same day when I was thinking about, should I do this? Should I not do this? It's a bit, you know, it's a bit stupid. Is, is it going to help? I'm just going to have to think of what random story has happened. On the same day, I ended up writing a really wholesome one, which was that I just woke up. And I was in work mode, but my girl was next to me and then she could feel that I was kind of like rushing to like get her out of my house so that she can go back home and I can focus on work. And I could tell that she was feeling, you know, a tiny bit neglected. I'm kind of like saying, come on, let, let, let's get morning sunlight. Then you need to go. I'm going to work and everything. And we end up, she ends up like getting ready, but then she's lost the car keys. And you know how women are like, it's fucking annoying, bro. We wake up. It's supposed to be my deep work hours. Oh, have you seen my car keys? Then she's talking to my mom and my mom asks her if she want breakfast. And you know, it's this whole fucking annoying thing. I'm trying to work here, man. But eventually we're at the door and she's just about to go. She says goodbye to me and she says, oh, you don't have to wait here. It's fine. Cause I know that you're busy. You know, that you want to get to work. Cause usually I just wait and stay stood at the door. And I say, yeah, 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 she goes and she gets into the car and she always takes ages in the car as well, you know, to drive off. And of course, I'm going to stand there, right? I'm going to stand there till she's driven off to kind of wave her goodbye. And as she turns on the car and she drives forward, she's looking kind of like sad and almost sulking. And she looks to the right and she was not expecting to see me there. And her face bursts into like the biggest girly little smile ever. It's like she almost gasps and she like, she, she does like that to me. She's probably happy. She drives off happy. That happened. I didn't even see it as a story. But I, I see multiple guys like smiling with like wholesomeness right now, right? That story, guess what that is? We're all entrepreneurs and businessmen here. Guess what that story is? Someone type on chat. There's a particular word which we can say is entrepreneurs and businessmen. What do we want to acquire and what do we want less of? Not exactly a pitch. Not emotional. What do we want? What has rich dad, poor dad taught us? assets that story is an asset that has literally added to my net worth because it's an asset that will pay me dividends every single time that i speak it notice how like a lot of the guys are engaged right now probably more engaged in this entire lecture right now through that story than you were when i was just telling you about goal setting it's very powerful and this happened Genuinely, this was not a significant moment of my life. This was just a random day. I didn't even ever like really think about it. I didn't plan to ever kind of tell that story. It was with homework for life. When later on that day, I was thinking like, oh, what's the story that I'm going to end up writing about today? This is just stupid. I'm probably not going to do this. And I ended up writing about that. And I think the only reason why I remember that moment, because it's just simple. It's just like literally my girl just smiling at me. But the only reason why I remember is because I actually wrote it down. So homework for life. You can add to your habit tracker. It's where every single day you just try to get a story from what happened today. It could be literally you writing, Hamza told me about homework for life. That could be it. It could be that your mum ended up talking to you about something. It could be that literally you stubbed your toe again on the same place. Whatever it is, each of these, let's say one out of 10 of the ones that you use on your YouTube videos and it hooks and engages people like I've just hooked and engaged you with this story with my girl. It's probably powerful, right? It's probably a nice little habit to get into. And also, let's just forget about business for a second. It actually really, I'm not going to lie, it really makes you appreciate your life more. It really adds to the, the depth of your life. You know, as you get older, but now that we're all like 20 years old on average... It's uh, every year is kind of insignificant for us. Every month kind of goes a lot faster now than it did 10 years ago. And so if, especially with the grind of self-improvement routine, like a month is just the same. We do the same things at the same time. The story is what actually keeps your time abundance because that story of this one particular day 
has just gave me life in a weird way. If I didn't have that one story from that day, that day would have been lost from the the sand timer of my life. It would have been forgotten forever. That story is the only reason why that day actually is here. Like I get to express it. I get to feel that valuable piece of sand that's dripped through the 80,000 days that we get in our lives.